So our initial formula for success primarily involved hiring experienced engineers from our competitors and relying on them to build out an operational infrastructure in which we were mimicking or relying on industry best practices. Ultimately, this initial formula wasn't successful. We quickly learned that utilizing experienced engineers has its drawbacks. You know, what we found is that experienced engineers can be extremely difficult to find. So there aren't a lot of companies that do uh, this type of high-level automation. And so uh, most of the engineers that are capable of doing that kind of transfer back and forth between those companies doing a few years here, a few years there. And that really wasn't a model that we wanted to follow. The other aspect of hiring experienced engineers that is complicated is that they tend to design, develop, and build machines in a way that is uh, standard across the industry. Uh, and for a company like ours that was looking at developing innovative approaches and doing things differently, it was difficult to help them or to push them to change their mindsets. We didn't know any better at the start, but we realized that our competitors' infrastructure was better suited to take on niche automation applications. They are able to leverage their experience in certain industries and applications to design machines that are essentially just tweaking or modifying previous machine designs. We really didn't want to go for a uh, individual niche market simply because it prohibits the types of different machines that we could do and the different types of customers that we could work with. The other aspect of that, and this is purely uh, coming from my engineering background, is that it's not that much fun. With these lessons learned, uh, we decided that we wanted to hire a new type of engineer for automation. So we wanted someone that was highly creative, highly innovative, hardworking, and would come to work every day, enjoy what they do, and be challenged by it. And so we stopped looking for experienced hires and started going directly to colleges. Ultimately, this standardization has enabled Compass to develop a scalable operational infrastructure that has allowed the company to grow profitably. The cornerstone of this infrastructure is Agile Engineering. Agile Engineering or Agile Machine Development is a project management and machine design methodology that represents a dramatic shift in approach to designing, building, and developing custom machines.